Hi everyone. Um, I haven't been teaching for a while over the summer because I have been busy um, traveling for a bit. And today I'm going to teach you two uh, Asian cookie recipes and it's very uh, good uh, crunchy recipes. Uh, the first one will be a uh, little cookie which is a uh, Cambodian called Kapalit, uh, Nung Kapalit. Hi, Nung Ni, Kutha Thua Tau Ta Piyat Men Ten, but Tha Men Piyat Te Kut Klau Ta O. With this cookie you have to be really careful because um, if you don't pay attention to it, it if the oil is too hot, it will burn, and if it, the oil is too low, it won't cook quite well. So you just have to keep an eye on the temperature. I will write down everything under uh, my website there when I post it up. So right now, the oil is completely hot. One thing to remember is this uh, flour mold here, it needs to be really, really hot, or else it will not stick into the butter. Um, that uh, I'm going to dip the mold here inside the butter and then drop it back into the hot oil. And I will give you the recipes on it. Um, I am cut this recipe in half already. It's four cups of flour, three eggs, one can of coconut milk, one tablespoon of sesame seed, one and a half cup of sugar, and two and a half cup of milk. So I'm gonna, this is already done mixing it, so I'm just gonna show you quickly here how to cook it. And then it's very fast. This cookie cook really quick, and the mold here is quite hot. So you have to be careful with it. The reason I use this cloth here because the handle here is completely really really hard for that so here we go and um, the temperature here is quite low on on the hot oil when it's already hot I turn it down too low for a bit or else it will burn my cookie so I'm gonna drop this hot mold right here into the bottom mix and you can hear the sound of it and then you drop it back really quick and when the mold is very hot the cookie coming out just like that you can see that and then you drop the mold back into the oil you can use a bigger pot for it, you know, but I only have a little bit of butter. Like I made a lot of it for my brother yesterday, so this is just a little bit so I can show you how to cook this, uh, this cookie. And then you turn it over quickly and do not let this cookie burn because it's only take a few seconds. And here's the color. You have to take it out right away and then it will cook some more while you take it out so it will not burn for that. And then you can see one side and then the other side. It's already a, a bit golden and it, it cooked very quickly. So I'm going to do a few more and show you that. And then I will move on to the next uh, cookie. So here we go again. You drop into the butter and put it down into the hot oil right away. Be careful. If the butter is heated up, if, if you dip the butter completely to the top, the cookie will not let go of it. And then uh, the butter will wrap around the cookie mold and then it will not, you know, it will not let go of the butter down to the... Uh, the hot oil is there, so be careful, do not dip the mold all the way down to the bottom. So make sure you have a little bit left so the cookie can come out easily. And when, when the mold is not hot, the cookie will stick into the mold and it's very hard to clean up. So make sure the, the mold is very, very hard for that. And here you go, there's another one that's ready to go. Some people, they will use a, a cup to make it round. But I'm just going to do this, it's it just easy for me that way, so I don't have to go put it on a cup. And this mold is a bit smaller than uh, um, the mold that you have seen on the YouTube. And to order this mold, it's everywhere on um, Amazon or a Thai grocery store. You will find this uh, lot of flower mold here. And there you go. You see it again? It come out just simple, just like that. And it's very easy to make it. And then we just have to turn it and it, like I say, it cooks very fast so you just have to stand by and it, it makes a lot for the recipes I give to you. It makes about over 100 cookies for that. And you can dip this cookie with vanilla ice cream, whatever you can use that with the ice cream. It's really pretty, you know, when you're using teas and stuff like that or coffee for whoever of you that drink coffee there. So here we go. There's a pretty color. And it is done. And when the cookie is done, it's going to get crunchy when it's getting cold. So um, don't worry if it's not crunchy. All of this cookie will be very crunchy. And you can see that that is the color you wanted. And then there's uh, all of this color right here. So I'm going to do one more before I move on to the next cookie. See, you just drop it off and then um, the cookie and you, right away, you do not put the mold away. The mold has to stay back in the hot oil or else it will not stick into the, the bottom mix there. Yeah. It looks really beautiful and pretty nice there. 
and then you have to turn it over and let it golden brown for that. If you have the right temperature and that the cookie will, will cook long enough and it will be crunch up, if, if you don't have the right temperature, the cookie will burn right away. So as you see down here, my maybe Peter can put the camera down, the temperature is very, very low on this cookie, when it's, uh, on the oil when it's getting really hot. So, yes, and that is the color that you want it. So I'm going to stop this one and I'm going to go to the other cookie real quick here. So here's the little flower cookie. Uh, or you make, make it round just by dropping down like that, then it will open up and then you can put uh, some cream or something inside it, you know, if you like um, to put in a web cream or any kind of cream or fruit or anything that you like, you know, when it make the mold that, that round like this. You see that? I make it a little, and then it, this cookie, it will get hot very quickly, so whatever you want to do to design it, even make it round or make it flat, it will not last very long, so you have to do it right away because it's getting really, I will show you at the end how crunchy it's going to be cooked. I'm going to move, uh, move it to uh, another cookie here. And to make this cookie, you need to, to buy the Italian mold here. It's a Brazili. That is um, the mold you need for uh, the machine you need for this uh, kind of cookie. And, uh, and you have to be quick also on this cookie or else you will not be able to roll it. And if you want, you can make a khmer yung kha thanh nung soy, bai tan nao, rut dong, hay nung lang ngo sko, yung dai chu muoi tu hay yung rong vi tu, doi nung pa ke ni yung khi ke dai cream pa khmer yung ke dai bai tan nao hay nung sko lang ngo hay nung dong. The dishes, so Bob own order and send it to half of the lab in Amazon. Brazil is Italian cookie for their breakfast there. So I'm already heat up the mold. It's very very hot right now. And the perfect measuring for this thing is you use the slippery ball. This uh, this is one tablespoon here for the soup. Uh, use for soup rice there, and then you just take one spoon, drop it in, and then here's another one, and then you have to close it. I haven't timed this yet so far, but I know when I have to open it, maybe I can time it quickly here. Yeah, often I just open it and check it if it's golden brown enough, then I will go ahead and take it out and I have to roll it quickly. And um, for the sticky rice wrap, you have to be quickly cook the sticky rice, make with the coconut flakes and uh, sugars and um, sandites and things like that, uh, the, the bean, and then you have to put it right away when it's come out very really hard. So, See, this is almost almost done, but I can see that the white one inside is not quite done. So it's okay to open it during the cooking process for um, this this cookie. So my young had Here the recipe: uh, one bag of rice flour, uh, one and a half cup of sugar, one can of coconut milk, and one can of water of the coconut milk. Four eggs and one table of black, uh, one tablespoon of black sesame seed, and mix them all together into a batter mix like this. And there we go, this is done. This is what you wanted and you have to be quick. Like I say, if you're not quick enough, the cookie will turn hard and then you can roll it. And here it is, Nung Thang Muen. And then you're gonna do another one quickly. Yeah, it's really hard, but you know, I'm used to do this, so it, it's okay. But if you're afraid of heat, you can use um, something else to hold on to it, but it won't work un unless you um, use it your finger. And there you go, another one that is ready. So I think the timing for about two minutes or so to cook this cookie. See and this, yeah, nong thang muon. See that? And how is it is? It's crunchy. And then I will fold it the other way to show you. There are many ways you can fold this uh, kind of cookie. Yeah, I'm gonna let it sit for a few more minutes. Maybe about two to three minutes. Three minutes might be too long when when you um 
your machine is hot so it's go quickly you might need two people to help you and do this and like I said the, the perfect spoon is the uh, soup spoon here come on you can have a ball the free of a ball here Yeah, this is a perfect color here. So you take it out. It's very, very hot. And there you go. And then I'm going to fold another one in a different corner. This one is the easy one. You just fold it as a triangle like this. And then there we go. It's done. And then you can put the... That if you have two people, then one is sit down and fold and another one just uh, make it and it go faster. So I think the time is about two minutes, but just take a guess. As soon as it's golden, it's still color, it's ready to take it out and it's ready to, uh, to fold it. And I will put all the recipes for both of this cookie uh, underneath my uh, website there. not quite done so you, you can open it up through the process there but make sure it about two minutes or so before you open it up and here you turn it, you see there's a cookie when you make it a little bit uh, round this mold is a little bit small but you you can get a bigger one from the Thai import grocery store there, then you know it, it's bigger for you but I like the small ones it's easy to uh, to do it and you can use bigger pot for a lot of oil when you can buy two mold and then it go quickly for that too. Okay, it's not quite done. You can see that the white color inside, it's not done yet. So I want the inside a little bit brown too. So I'm gonna close it back for a little bit more. And now it is done. You sometimes it stick into two pieces like that. You just have to tear it apart. It is very really hard. And just fold it right away when, when it's still soft. Because as soon as you give it a minute or so, this cookie will get really, really hot. This is fun to make it for a kid's birthdays and stuff. And then, you know, instead of making cakes and stuff, if you have the time to do it ahead of time and your kid can help you. It's a very fun cookie and it tastes really good and pretty crunchy too. Yeah. Uh, for the amount that I give to you, it, ma it makes a lot, over 100 cookies for that. And then uh, if you keep it in a sealed container, it will last for a few days. So it won't last very long because this thing will get soft after a few days for that. Okay. This is my last one that I'm going to show you and then... Um, I'm done for this two recipes and I will type it up for you when, when I'm done with the video. And then you can go ahead and enjoy it. Yeah, you see how crunchy it is? It's already, it's hot already, all the cookie here. And even the, uh, the lotus flower. Very crunchy. And it's sweet, delicious. But, you know, you have to deep fry for this one. There's a little bit, you see that? It's still not done, so I'm gonna cover that up. See, see, it's not quite done because you can see the white around it. So I'm gonna close it up. And I think between two and a half minutes to three minutes, this cookie should be done. Really good. So it's, it's really simple and it's fun to make and you know, you have friends come over and sit down and make this together. It's an Asian cookie. This, this two cookie is for Thai and Cambodian. They make a lot of this. And it's a street uh, cookie that they sell it on the street of Thailand and Cambodian. You, you find a lot of this cookie. Okay, now it is done. You can see that. So I'm going to go ahead and roll it one more. Quickly. Yeah. And don't let it too hard. I'm going to fold this one. And that's all it is. Yeah. See you later. Goodbye and enjoy the cookie when you make it. See ya. Bye-bye.